everybody let's get started it's wednesday march 25th and we'll start with the image titled white man's burden the title of the piece makes it appear like britain and america had a burden to shoulder or a job to do present in the picture are a bunch of people leading the way out in front is john bull bull is the personification of britain like our Uncle Sam. Speaking of, of Uncle Sam, you can see him there. Both Bull and Sam are carrying others on their backs up a mountain. If you zoom in on the people in the whisker, wicker baskets, you'll see they represent different countries like India, China, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Samoa, and Hawaii. All of those places that are represented by those individuals in those wicker baskets being carried on the shoulders of John Bull and Uncle Sam are all places Britain and America snatched up through imperialism. As we've seen several times this year, artists sometimes depict people as less than human, as animalistic or animal-like, or even savage. These are this form, this style is done to portray the individuals as something less than human. And this piece is no different. This is especially true of the individuals carried by Uncle Sam. It doesn't take much observation to see that they're drawn in a distorted manner. Their facial features are exaggerated. And frankly, it's just racist. As you can see, Britain and America, Bull and Sam, are carrying the other places, these faraway places, up a mountain made of boulders. Many of the boulders have words on them, words like oppression, superstition, ignorance, brutality, vice, cannibalism, slavery, and cruelty. Each and every one of those words is a negative thing. Their definitions are negative. It is the job of Britain and America, so says the artist, to help places like India, Cuba, and Hawaii overcome these negative aspects of their society. Not Britain, not American society, but in the societies of these British and American colonies. It is, according to the cartoonist, Britain and America are helping these people out. To get where? Well, at the top of the mountain is the goal Britain and America are trying to achieve. And you can see it's labeled civilization. That's the destination they have in mind for themselves and more importantly, their riders. So basically the artist is saying that without Britain and America doing this to these places, to these colonies, they, these colonies wouldn't be civilized. They'd be uncivilized. And the artist tries to show this by depicting them as something other than human and by including all of the negative aspects, so the artist says, of their society. I don't think I included um, barbarism at the bottom right. That is also a word on one of the boulders, and 
as you probably are aware, barbarism connects to like barbarians and barbarians are uncivilized. And that's what this artist is trying to say of these people. So I've been speaking a little bit about the message and meaning the artist is trying to communicate, but here's what I recorded uh, when I completed the assignment. The message or meaning the artist is trying to communicate is that these faraway places needed the help of Britain and America and that Britain and America were there to help. It's kind of like Britain and America were saving these places from themselves. That these places didn't have the ability on their own to help themselves achieve a civilized state. So it was up to Britain and America uh, to do it for them. These places, according to the artist, were savage and barbaric. Just look at how they're drawn and, they're, and the words used to describe them. So basically, when I look at the reasons for imperialism and which connect with this image, I'm mainly focused on the moral, religious aspect and the nationalistic aspect. For the moral and religious, we look no further than the vocabulary words on the boulders. All of these are immoral activities. All of these are violate the concepts of major world religions. So it's as if we're saying, look, we do things the right way and we're going to have to ca literally carry you over the ways you guys have done it in the past, which is the wrong way. And the other, in the other, um, reason for imperialism that pops up is nationalistic. Basically, the artist is saying that the way the nations of Britain and America do things are the way, way things should be done. And if countries aren't doing those things, then they shouldn't be done that way. And I'm a little bit over my time here, so I'm going to stop this video. We'll start a new one for the other image, School Begins. Thank you. Okay. This is the second video of Wednesday, March 25th, and this video will focus on the image School Begins. There's a lot going on here, so let's jump right in. So the title of the piece suggests that there is teaching and learning to take place. All right, school's about to start, school's in session, school's beginning. And out of school you'll find teaching, and out of school you'll find learning. The caption under the t title supports this. In it, Uncle Sam is telling the, I'm doing air quotes here, children that they have to be there whether they want to or not, and that, event that eventually they'll be happy for it, like those that came before them. So clearly we have some imperialistic Uncle Sam uh, um, making decisions on behalf of some of the places America snatched up during imperialism. Let's talk about all the individuals. Present in the picture are a bunch of people. Obviously, there's Uncle Sam looking fairly stern as the school teacher. In the background, there's a black man washing a window. A Native American sitting by the door reading a book upside down. A Chinese person, a Chinese man, standing just outside. A bunch of white kids that represent the different American states and the new, air quotes, students. The Philippines, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and Cuba. All places impacted by American imperialism. When looking at the new students particularly, it's clear that the artist purposefully drew them as something other than human. Something animal-like and yada 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 that's just plain racist other stuff to see in the image there's a poster at the top of the image reminding the viewer that the confederacy refused to be governed by the union but they were eventually forced to like these like philippines hawaii puerto rico cuba on a blackboard the viewer is told that Governing without the consent or permission of the governed is okay because it's for their own good. So even if Cuba doesn't want our input, our input is necessary because it's for Cuba's own good. Finally, on Uncle Sam's desk, there's a book on self-government 
which the United States did not allow those four new students to do, and the new class's roster. Getting to the message and a meaning, there continues to be a lot going on. So let's start at the top left and then move clockwise. The black man washing the window is not a student at the school because he's not allowed. The piece was published during Jim Crow, something you're familiar with, the period of time when segregation was allowed. The Native American reading by the door is barely allowed in the room. The artist is depicting the Native American as stupid and illiterate. He doesn't know which way to hold a book. Native Americans, as you also know, have been treated poorly in the U.S. since the beginning, uh, including the well-known Trail of Tears. At least the Native American is allowed in the room, I guess, because the Chinese person isn't. Remember, Chinese immigrants faced immigration restrictions and racism. The potential student is at the door with his materials, ready to go, but he's been excluded. Look at how the white students are drawn in comparison. They're drawn much more realistically. They're studious, well-behaved, and well-kept. Why? Because the artist wants you to think of them as true Americans, the image of America. Finally, to the new students. It's hard to describe how they are drawn. They look a bit disheveled and seem to be squirming in their seats, like they're not used to the environment. They definitely do not look happy to be there, and that's where the message comes in. According to the artist and many imperialists, it didn't matter how the American colonies felt about America's involvement. It was for their own good. They didn't have the ability to improve themselves, and America was saving the day by exercising control over them. Which brings us back to the reasons for imperialism. I would say this image, like the first one, White Man's Burden, it centers around basically nationalism. We're doing it the right way. You're not. You should do it our way. Even if you don't, we're going to make you because it's the right way to do it. So the White Man's Burden video went a little bit long today. I apologize. So I'm going to cut the School Begins um, audio off now. Hey, everybody, um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking part. Reach out. Let me know if you need anything.